Hi everyone, I'm going to show you another um, awesome project here and this is made by request from Basic Hand Quill Hot Pot Holder and uh, the fabric I cut here, I'm using the two different color uh, the one with the light yellowish with the flower and the one with solid dark yellow so I have cut a of them so four in the solid color this is five in square uh, also another four five inches square so total i have four with the solid and four with the flower i got this from the shop and i will share with you in my description you can check in there this is good to make mitten i'm going there sometime later and so when you when you open this one this is the um a big giant one i think this is um one yard so basically you go on to bring it out and then you go in to cut eight you go on this is the five inch you go in to cut eight of this and using the four inches square so cut eight of this in to four inches square everyone so one inch is smaller than the the fabric one so everyone i have cut an a of them a of the um, four by four they're insulated i'm going to show you one but you're going to do a of them everyone very relaxed just put everything in the uh, in the basket or whatever and then bring into the sofa watch tv enjoy and just slowly do this so you're going to place it in here so you see the four side that have an extra right here all you need to do just fold it back in here and you go on to use stretchy needle you go on to sew the line that's very easy just sew it in everyone run and stitch all the way the wind outside back so scary. I don't remember when I was in Vietnam, the wind is that bad. Maybe I was little and I didn't pay attention. But, uh, scary. So scary, everyone. So like that, one corner, and then you can put it down if you want to. And then from here, the other corner, you go on to fold it in. Fold this corner in and then continue to run through this side. And you see you have a very nice side right here. So continue doing that to all four sizes. And then after that, you go on to finish all eight of them very very relaxed and i love to do this everyone but you know sometimes you have kids you you want to relax but you can so my kid getting older is better or when they when they're little, oh my goodness, it's hard to, to do with both of them. I have my mom, but she passed away. So we just press on this side, everyone. And then continue to fold on this side. You see when I left the, the side on the top here, I leave it like that. So then I fold it the other side and I can come down here. You see? And now continue to do this side and then the other side and then on the other four. I have so many ideas where I've like, oh my goodness. Um, I try to thin this up or do necklace the uh, request video for the people who dress me and request me don't dress me too much everyone sometimes i don't know 
I don't know. <laughs> I don't know a lot of stuff. Yeah. So continue to do. When I get into, remember when I get into here, I leave the space right here, so I can fold it in the the last size here. You fold it in. You see how I fold it in the back here, and so in the front right here, I'm going to go down with the thread, and then continue. This um the running stitch right here that you did or baiting or baiting stitch, you can take it out when you're done. It's all up to you. You don't need to you don't leave it there. I usually after I finish I just take it out. So for my channel I'm gonna do one little of everything everybody uh based on the uh the request. When you watch my video in like sometime they did suggest video try to check that out too sometime i have new thing come in there or the end of the video there's a picture on the end of the video you can click right on there and it will bring you into the new video so now i finished whole one so continue to do the other seven everyone do exactly the same thing like this so everyone, after I did the four solid color and four flower one, this is what you need to lay out before you sew it together. The, um, the flower and then the solid color and then the opposite way, you're going to get the solid here. And then the flower here. Like this this is the one and then you have another one you're going to do exactly like that so all you need to do you're going to fold two and then you're going to sew together and then you're going to fold two and then you're going to sew this together after that you're going to sew this together same thing to this one you're going to do the same thing so i'm going to flip the right side to the right side go to the corner right here make sure you see everything lie up nicely and even. Very important to get. I'm going to use the same dread color, yellow. I'm going to go to this right here. And then I'm going to just sew it in. I love doing hand sews thing like this, like quilting. So you see how I sewed it in here? Very nice together like that. So you continue to do this and the next one and then this one too um, like just like this and then you sew it together and then after that these two you're going to sew them together too. This is very basic square inch quilting by hand. So go ahead and continue doing what I'm doing and then when you're done with these two and go on to put put it together I'll show you what to do. You see everyone after I sew these two together you're going to do this and then you're going to sew this two together the same way we did and then also you're going to do this one the same as this one. So everyone I have two square pieces like this. You see the opposite like that, the yellow here and the flower there. Whatever you want to decide to, to put something here, you can if you want to, or you can just leave it plain. I have the flower here, I bought it by the yard, it is coming all different color. So I'm going to add one in here. Just want to make a little bit prettier. 
You don't have to do it. You don't want to. You can just leave it plain. I always like to dress up whatever I make, everyone. So go ahead and get the thread and needle. You just go right into the center here with a flower. And then going up to the petal here. Up and down, you're going to sew this one in. You don't want to do this. You can leave it plain, everyone. And See how nice this is when I sew them all? The insulation in back here. That is so funny. Now I know more thing to do. And I appreciate my mom more because when I was little, when she asked us to go to school to learn how to do this and that, we're like, oh no, we have enough school. We done so much stuff. We don't have time. Okay, we have some free time and playing around the neighbor. <laughs> so now you have you know more and more, and you appreciate her more. So I went to summer school and also all kind of this. The class that my mom pay for us to attend, and that's why we know more stuff today. So you see how pretty you are? You, you want to do something here, you can. You can do here, you can. All the stitches here, you can take it out after. Don't take it out yet. You're going to get mad at yourself if you take it out now. So if I have the yellow, if I have yellow here, I have to make sure on this side with the flower. That's how it is. And if I have the flower in here, I have to make sure this is the yellow. So it's just like this. The opposite light is everyone. Then you can see. You see the difference? You don't need to match it exactly because it looks boring. So you can just do this. The two different sides. So to add the holder in here, you can cut the ribbon about six inches and then you're going to fold it in half like this and the two fold here. You're going to place right in the middle here. Right in the middle. If you if the holder you need it um bigger, you can just cut in seven or eight and nine and ten, whatever. But um but that is good for now. You go on to get the the um pin and then you go on to pin it down. Just want to make sure it stay there for you. And now for this, you're going to make sure all the corner meet the corner and then you sew them all in. Just like how we do hand quilting. So go ahead everyone, start doing. Let me just do it on the side of the, of the holder with the ribbon here. Just want to show you how nice it is. Very carefully go to inside here. So you can hide a knot. I always hide my evidence. And then you go to here, you're going to get it out, make the loop, and it's nice. So now you go and you just do the same exact thing that you put when you put the small piece together. Same thing everyone, just go the whole square here. So relax and everyone, nothing to worry. Just take your time. You see how I do? It's so beautiful. I went to Walmart in the other shop the other day, which I think is because it's cold here still. So they don't put out the flower yet. I want to redo my garden, everyone. My garden. At what happened here in the winter time, everything is dying. But my succulent is still there. But because of snow, we've been shovel and and um, all I have like a wood chip out there is all gone. And then the the white stone, the white rock around the succulent 
Time by time is gone. Because we shovel the snow, we scoop them all up and we throw the, the rock away too. So I have to do that. So you see how I sold it in so beautifully? So you go ahead and do exactly what I'm doing. Go all around the square. And that's it. We're done. Everyone, when you sew it together, you always have to make sure the sew line here connect with the sew line so everything is lined up nice and perfect. So go ahead, everyone, get this, and then you go on to just take the stitch it out. You don't need them anymore. So pretty, everyone. I love the color. It's good for the spring. Sometimes the dread right here that is from the inside, you can just get this one right at the corner and try to cut that. Super awesome. This is good. Um, I hope the person who asked me for this is going to like it. Look at this everyone. How beautiful this look. That is so pretty. And look on this side. That's pretty. Thank you so much for requesting this project everyone. Stay safe and take care.